Well, it was a violent holiday season in the Houston area, and sadly, the tragedies have carried over into the new year. In this case, a grandmother in her 70s shot and killed in her home, and an eerie development tonight. Police say that same home on Flamingo Drive in southeast Houston had been shot up just hours earlier. Channel 2's Bill Barajas live in that neighborhood tonight with more. Bill? Well, police say they responded to the house uh, multiple times. The first time early New Year's Day when the house was shot up. The second time hours later at about 1030 that night when they discovered the body of Owena McHenry. Police believe both cases are connected. Owena McHenry seemed to be loved by everyone in this quiet South Park neighborhood. Neighbors and friends grief stricken over the news that she was murdered, shot in the head in her own home. She was a beautiful person. She loved everybody and I can't understand who would hate her that much to do something like that to her. I really couldn't understand. I don't understand that. That's why I'm over here. I couldn't believe it. And I just got up and drove off and came by to see for myself and it's really happening. Police say McHenry's home was also shot at at about 1 a.m. that very same day. Police believe the same person may have come back between the hours of 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. to kill McHenry. To know that, you know, Miss McHenry um, was the victim of a violent death like that this morning, um, it's, it's very disheartening and I'm still a little shaky, a little nervous. McHenry's family says she was 76 years old. She's described as a kind, God-fearing woman. Her killer remains on the loose. The news of her death leaving many upset. Somebody's mother or grandmother have lost their life out here and nobody know nothing, nobody see nothing. And if you have any information in this case, you're asked to call the Houston Police Department. You can all call you can also call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Live in Southeast Houston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.